Welcome back to 13 News Now at Noon. The Chrysler Museum of Art opened in 1933, and since the museum was established, it's expanded six times. Today, it's more than 220,000 square feet, featuring more than 50 galleries, a restaurant, and a theater. And joining me now from the historic Chrysler Museum is Director of Curatorial Affairs. Did I get that yeah. right? There we go. Mark Castro joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's so cool to, to see the history behind the museum but there's so much more coming. I mean, every single year there's something different. You're already busy right now, and there's yep. so much happening this fall. So let's talk about what's happening right now and what people can expect in the fall. So right now we have open two great exhibitions that everyone will love. Um, Peter Bremer's From Ice to Water, work of this really amazing contemporary Dutch glass artist who's thinking a lot about climate change and thinking about how glass can be a tool for exploring that topic. Yeah. Um, and then a wonderful show, New Frames of Reference, looking at really the birth of photography in 19th century France. So you get to see a little bit about how people used to take photographs way before you could do them with your iPhone. Oh my goodness. And, and so cool that you're kind of like marrying, you know, back in the day to the modern times and, and, and seeing how they all kind of interconnect and take us into the future. Yeah, it's a big part of what we do is we like to show people historic art, but show them how it's connected to the contemporary world, how it's still relevant and how we still have things to learn from it. Oh, I love that. Okay, so let's go a little bit deeper into Farm to Table. We were yes. talking during the commercial break about, about this. What more do people know need to know about Farm to Table? And then also so the programming associated with it, because that's the big push for the yeah. fall. So we are opening up Farm to Table um, in one week exactly. I okay. just left the galleries where we're putting on the finishing touches. Nice. It's an amazing exhibition looking at food as a way of thinking about national identity, class, culture, gender at the end of the 19th century. This was a time when they coined the phrase, you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. um, and indeed they said, a nation is what it eats. <laughs> and so we look at the, the works of art from artists like Claude Monet, uh, Paul Gauguin, Camille Pizarro, some really heavy hitters in the world of Impressionism and how they used images of people growing food, um, selling food at the marketplace, eating food together, and what that says about culture at the time and what it says about culture today. Food is still a big part of who we are. We're really um, buttressing that great exhibition with some amazing program. So we're gonna have uh, French influenced music as part of our World Beats music series. We have a still life class people can take. So learning how still lifes tell us a little bit about who we are. Um, and then also this wonderful salon series where people can come meet in the galleries, listen to some experts talk and have a conversation about important themes in the exhibition. So cool. It's so much happening at the Chrysler Museum. We were talking before, you do not need to be a member to go. It is free, open to the public. Where can people go, go though to kind of get more information? I know we didn't have a whole lot of time to talk today. You can always find information about what's going on on Chrysler.org. And if you are interested in events or registering for different events, look at Chrysler.org slash events. I say it every time. Chrysler Museum is a gem here in Hampton Roads. Make sure you check out what they have going on. It's great to see you, Mark. Thank you for having me.